Hi everyone. Next is the type of channels. A manufacturer may plan to sell his or her products either directly or indirectly to the consumers. In case of indirect distribution, a manufacturer has again an option to use a short channel consisting of few intermediaries or involve a large number of middlemen to sell his or her goods. Therefore, these are various forms of channels networks having different number and types of middlemen. Various types of channels of distribution. Direct channel. It is the shortest and simplest channel of direct distribution of goods from manufacturer to customers. It is called as zero level channel or distribution as it does not involve any intermediary. It facilitates direct relationship between the manufacturers and the con customers. For example, e-business, selling through internet, direct mail order house, chain stores, Color Plus, Nike, Bata, etc. Direct selling, Amway, Oriflame, etc. Next one is indirect channel. When a manufacturer employs one or more intermediaries to sell and distribute their product to the customers, it is called as indirect selling. In this, goods move from the point of production to the point of consumption through a distribution network. The various forms of indirect distribution networks are one level channel. This channel of distribution involves one intermediary to transfer of goods from the manufacturer to the consumer. In this, the title and uh, risk transfer from manufacturers to retailers who in turn sells goods to consumers. This distribution channel enables manufacturers to retain control and approach large number of potential customers. For example, automobile manufacturers sell their cars through authorized dealers. Two level channel. This channel of distribution involves two intermediaries to transfer goods from the manufacturer to the customer. In this wholesaler and a retailer act as connecting link between manufacturer and consumers. This network enables manufacturers to cover large market area. It is most adopted distribution channel for consumer product. Next one is three level channel. This channel of distribution involves manufacturers uh, using the services of agents or brokers to connect with the wholesalers and retailers. Manufacturers appoint agents in major area who in turn connect them to wholesalers and retailers. It is suitable for manufacturers of limited product line with the customers spread over a wide geographical area. Then let us discuss about factors determining choices of channel. Uh, deciding or selecting channel of distribution is a strategic decision for any manufacturing or trading concern. The choice of channels depends on various factors. These factors may be discussed as follows. Product related factors, company characteristics, competitive factors, marketing factors, environmental factors. So product related factors means nature of product is an important factor in deciding channel of distribution. Consumer products are usually standardized, less expensive, non-technical and have large number of buyers spread over a wide geographical area. This will require wide network channels involving many middlemen to sell and distribute product. Company characteristics. Another factor in deciding the channels of distribution in the company is financial strength and its decision to share the degree of control with its channel partners. Competitive factors. The decision to choose channel of distribution is affected by the channels adopted by competitors in the same industry. It is the company policy which decides whether to go with the competitors or be different from them. Market factors. The market factors like uh, size of market, geographical concentration of potential customers, quantity demanded etc. affect the decision to choose channels of distribution. If the market size is small and buyers are concentrated in a particular region, then companies may choose short channels for distribution their product. Environmental factors the environmental factors like economic conditions and legal constraints also affect the decisions of choosing channels of distribution